Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. So today I figured more giant monster stuff, of course. This time a gorilla. Mighty Joe Young is the one I thought I'd talk about because might as well. I've been speaking about like lots of giant monster stuff, lots of King Kong related like, things and whatnot. So I just thought, well, let's cover Mighty Joe Young. Which I've been meaning to do for a good while anyway, so might as well just get to it, I guess. So anyway, of course, let's just talk about the story, shall we? So here we go. So the thing is that we get to see that there was this woman who pretty much has released this giant gorilla from this, I guess, from this place. And yes, of course. This craziness that's a foot that comes that comes here, of course. Yeah, there's definitely a thing going on with that because of the fact that this had to happen, of course. The film does tell the story of the young woman, like I was saying. She's been living on her father's ranch in Africa for a good while. And let's just say has raised the tighter character, this giant Rowan. And from infancy and then Later, years later, let's just say things that do get pretty insane because, yeah, she does see that he gets brought to Hollywood pretty much seeking her, uh, her fortune, so to speak, in order to save the family stock and whatnot. So, but of course, you never have anything too easy, obviously. Things get rather weird because. You know, there has to be some kind of drama and some strange, uh, just just kind of disaster kind of a thing, so to speak. So, we get to see that in 1937, Africa, this 80-year-old woman, who we get to see, does grow up, of course, is living with her father and the ranch, like I was saying. Then, we get to see fast forward some years, 20-some years. Later, we get to see that things get out of control, like I was saying, but that's kind of a thing, though. And by the way, this is done with clay animation, just like how it was done with King Kong and the Son of Kong. Same thing here. The clay animation kind of a thing is done in this one as well, which, come to think about, I actually do miss. I do miss the clay animation here, folks, which, honestly, didn't, people don't do it really all that much. As in a lot of the movies I've seen in mainstream anyway, which you guys do realize that it's very time consuming to do this kind of thing. But anyway, that aside, I do like the story. It has this adventurous kind of a story thing going on here with these characters, of course. I liked how in the grand scheme of things, he's, you can say it's an adventure movie kind of a thing. Uh, I guess you can say. Yeah, my name is Joe Young. Yeah, he's definitely a strong character. He's definitely a strong character. He's ha He has a lot of strength. Of course, and he's an individual you want you wouldn't want to mess with us because he's like I said he's strong. But anyway, he goes into the human society where where he, of course we meet people, and let's just say that not everyone is going to be also welcoming, of course. And well, I got some conflict somehow, right? As I often said, if there's no drama, then there's no conflict, and if there's no conflict. Then there's no reason for me to care, really. I just, I just wanted to see a good story here. And this does deliver a pretty good story as a whole. I did like what they were trying to do with the characters, of course, and whatnot. And that's definitely something I want to say is that because, yes, I know it's, it's not in a very old style kind of way. And yes, I do realize that not a whole lot of people want to watch this because I was in black and white for one. And it's really old. But, that's the thing, though. I, I probably didn't mind it, really. I didn't mind watching this at all, whatsoever. But anyway, this is something I would definitely recommend. If you're a fan of these kinds of movies, then it's definitely not too shabby, what to say. It's not too shabby what they were trying to do. Yeah, they're trying to do, like, a King kong style type of storytelling. And you can tell that this, this film was made by the people... Who are responsible for King Kong? 
there's a pretty good story on the effects for its time, like I was saying, for the for the for this film's release, yes, of course, the special effects weren't too bad considering the fact it's clay animation, yeah. yes, and considering the fact it's old, it's pretty nice it's done. It's more nice constructed, of course. And yeah, this was a pretty good movie as a as a whole. And it was definitely ahead of its time in a lot of ways. And these I know these types of movies can be difficult to make, including the considering the fact there was special effects handed in here, folks. The it's definitely worth a watch for anyone that wants to see this kind of a thing. I do like the fact that the gorilla is very it's really expressive. And though again, even if it's clay animation, of course. Uh, I do like the climax, of course. I'm not gonna say that what that is, but I don't want to spoil anything, but it does have a pretty good climax at the end of the story. So yeah, we get to see that you know, that that there was a little girl at first that does adopt this young girl in Africa and her family's plantation and whatnot. And things get pretty damn crazy. She pretty much grows up with the with the apes, so there's some kind of emotional attachment, of course. And this girl turns up to be one of the largest in the world. But of course, of course, that's going to be a thing. I mean, okay, this girl may not be as big as King Kong, for those who are wondering, but still, but still. Anyway, I did like the style of the story. I did like the way it was done. It's pretty fast paced in its own little way. It's pretty fast paced. So it does not once I felt like it got bored or anything. So it kept me entertained. And I do think it's a good thing there, folks. Oh, definitely. So bottom line, it's a well made movie. Alright? It's it's not too shabby. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a seven point one out of ten. It definitely gets a seven point one out of ten for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. And take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.